Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. We've got our live stream with uh, for channel members that can call in. And if you are a channel member, shout out to you and thank you very much for your support. The link will be in the community tab so you can join and be part of the discussion as we sit here Literally a month from tomorrow, the players start reporting in Oxnard, and the season will be here. And tonight, I've got something special we'll be doing after our live stream, so be looking out for that. Um, I'm actually very honored to be able to do what I'm getting ready to do this evening. In the meantime, Micah Parsons, who um, some people seem to think has diva tendencies and so on, and some people say that the Cowboys organization is getting sick of Micah Parsons and everything else. Well, I tell you what, here's the thing, the job of a coach. The job of a coach is to be able to put people in positions to succeed. Now, Micah Parsons, he understands. See, Micah Parsons has goals. His goal ultimately is to win a Super Bowl. And he's doing everything in his power to get there. Now, right now, he's doing his um, youth clinics where the proceeds are going to go to his foundation that he's creating. And so you can't be mad at somebody who's actually doing things like that, that actually care about what they're doing. Now, he recognizes that, um, and I want to go to it because this is a a nice article from the Dallas Morning News, um, quoting Micah Parsons. I feel good, Micah Parsons said, while taking a break from his youth football camp at Legacy Christian Academy, which is in Dallas. Now, his foundation is going to be helping kids that are actually in Pennsylvania and Harrisburg. I know Eagle fans will say, see, he's not leaving his money in Dallas. He's sending it to Philadelphia and and, and, and uh, Pennsylvania. So he's really uh, wants to be an Eagle fan. Uh, Eagle. Okay, whatever. Another year to dominate and prove where you're going to where you're going and the type of year you're going to have. But people have been questioning, can I? Can he sustain the whole season? Which is true. So, Micah Parsons started out the first eight games with seven and a half sacks and ended up having six and a half the last nine. Now, for those who say, well, six and a half the last nine, that's not real good. Well, <laughs> there's a lot of guys that didn't have six and a half sacks the rest of the season. And he has only one playoff Uh, sack in his career and i want to say charles haley i think only has two or three in his whole career just keep that in mind uh criticism is a privilege because sometimes a great standard is not good enough for those who are greater when people want things you have to answer the call it's not a negative thing Um, it's the most positive thing people can say to me because it pushes me and challenges me to be better. It's a great privilege for somebody to say, hey, you are great, but you can be even greater. So in other words, he's saying, bring it. Bring it. Because all you do is motivate. And, And I have to say, from my own standpoint, I know people will say, you're comparing yourself to Micah Parsons. You're a freaking idiot. Now, I'm comparing circumstances. Circumstances. Because I know in my life, when somebody says to me, you can't do something, it motivates the hell out of me to do that and to succeed at it. Because I will literally die trying when somebody says, you can't do something. You know, I'm telling you, that can be a motivating factor. Or when people doubt that you can do things. I can tell you, when I first started YouTube, I was so pathetic that my daughter had to literally upload the videos for me. And people said, you're too old. And this was like eight years ago. You're too old for YouTube. You're too old. You're technology challenge. You're ugly. Okay? You don't have a hot body that people want to see. You got nothing. Now... I'm going to say I haven't made it yet, but I've made it a lot farther than people um, thought I would. And all of those people out there that tell me how stupid I am and how you mispronounce words and you misspell things and you're fat and all that, that just pushes me further. So I can understand exactly what he says. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Now, Here's the other part of the equation is we also have to look at 
the coaching as well, as well as the way the team is constructed. Because you can have a great tool. You can have a great tool. In fact, you know, I think about the um, CNC machine that I have here. It's an incredible tool. But if you don't know how to use it and set it up like Michael does, it's useless. And see, here's the thing with Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons could be a 20-sack guy if you use him the correct way. And the thing is, is he's a great pass rusher. The problem is, is we have people that say, well, Micah Parsons is selfish because, you know, he's not um, playing multiple positions. Most guys have a hard time playing one position. And now you're saying that he needs to be a linebacker, an edge rusher. Oh, you're asking too much. The thing is, is, Micah is a great edge rusher, but not necessarily big enough to be a great run stopper. And what you have to look at is what we need to do is maximize what Micah Parsons does. And to maximize him, the biggest thing you can do to make him be even greater is to make sure that the middle of the field is not soft. If you can get guys that can get just a little push, not a big push, I don't need you to get, you know, all the way to the quarterback. I just need you guys to be able to hold the middle. If you can hold the middle, maybe penetrate a yard or two upfield, then the quarterback can't step up. And now the speed rush of Micah Parsons can get to the quarterback because he's going to get washed. You got these big offensive tackles. Now, from time to time, he can throw their ass down and bull rush them. But generally speaking, he's going to get pushed upfield around, and he's going to dip and work his way in. If the quarterback can step up a yard or two, then you got to miss. If the quarterback can't step up because there's guys in his face and quarterbacks don't like shit in their face, then he's going to hunt, and he's going to become more effective. And this is where coaching and ownership of putting the people around Micah Parsons to succeed. Because I look at him like a quarterback. And we always talk about getting weapons, except for the Cowboys, getting weapons to help the quarterback. You know, a tight end is the quarterback's best friend. Well, I'm going to say a great one-technique guy is the edge rusher's best friend. He just is. And we need to start looking at Micah Parsons like the quarterback on the defense and how we can get more weapons to help him to succeed. Because ultimately, having just one guy on the defense, we've done that before. We've had DeMarcus Ware, who's had the Cowboys' single-season record in sacks. But if you can't get pressure from the other side, you're, you're not quite as effective as you can be. So that's what we have right now. And, um, you know, it's slow time right now. But we got a month in, so get your beach trips going on, your vacation. I'm going to have a little bit of a barbecue this evening. Going to cook some burgers and some bacon on the grill and make some more hot wings on the grill in the heat. And I'm making some uh, cauliflower, like potato salad, but using cauliflower because... It's it's like, but see, it doesn't sound like potato salad, Uh, but you know, but see, because people make cauliflower salad. That's just like cauliflower in lettuce. Uh, Yeah. Cauliflower style potato salad with no potatoes, no potatoes, potato salad. How about that? (laughs) Okay. Anyway, if you want to see some of these recipes that we're doing that are low carb and things, um, Check out Cooking and Tailgating with Joe Boo. And it's not just those because I got recipes there. Oh, I got some recipes there for the big subs and everything.